If your sciatica makes itself felt from time to time, then you are in the right place in this video. We'll do the three most important exercises against sciatic problems and we start right away. Please join me immediately. And now you do the following. Please start with the affected side. So assuming you have your sciatica problem on the right, then you do it with your right leg backwards like I show it. If you have the problem on the left, then you do it on the left side. If you have it on both sides, you just have to alternate doing the exercise on the right and left. Go back with your right foot and calmly put your right hand on your lower buttocks and the left hand, put it over your belly button. Why are we doing this? So that you get a sense of what is happening with your hip now. If you now go into the stretch like this, first with the extended leg forward, then you stop there. Later, your right hand pushes your buttocks forward and your left hand tries to push your torso to overstretch backwards from the navel, so to speak. And if you do this more and more slowly, then you will feel a stretching on the inside of the thigh in the front of the groin. And the stretching is exactly the stretching we want because it stretches the hip flexor, pulling your groin forward. You must also stand comfortably, it must not be exhausting. You have the other leg forward, you stand and push further and are completely focused on the stretching sensation in the groin. And now do the following. Now tense your right leg as if it wanted to slide forward on the floor with the foot. Do you notice that's where the stretch is, that's where the power is? Now you're tightening your hip flexor in its stretched length and it really likes that because it gets used to being nice and flexible and supple, not as shortened as it's constantly trained to be by sitting every day. Whether you want it or not, it just happens when sitting. That's why we have to do something about it, that's how we do it. Then you release the slider again, the tension of the slider that you triggered, so to speak. Go further into the stretch and then do it again. Move your foot forward, tighten everything again, relax again, go a little further into the stretch. Then slide forward, let go and continue into the stretch and that's enough for now. Come out slowly, feel inside and it might feel a little bit freer here in the front. And we continue with the second exercise on the chair. Go far enough forward on your chair and stretch your left leg so that we can first try how flexible you are. Now put your right foot in here and feel how it is. If it's loose, slide a little further up. Assuming you only come this far, then you stay right here, hold your leg tight and then do the exercise in that position. But probably, hopefully, if not, it's also not a problem then it will work a few days later, right? Pull your leg over your knee and now you can, look, if your left leg bends more and more, then it pushes the right foot up. You can adjust that precisely now. I'm going up really high, so this is a good starting position, but if you can only come up to here, then practice at this angle where the leg is not pushed up so high. Otherwise, you make sure that you are sitting well. And look, now I have my left hand on the right ankle, my right hand is here on the shin, and the forearm is resting on the knee. And there's a reason for this, because I want you to press down your knee, your right one, by simply exerting pressure from your shoulder, okay? Always just as much as is still comfortably bearable. All right, when you have that, if the knee doesn't go down any further because it's already quite stretched, you'll feel it in the hip, probably deep inside, then stop right there. And now we focus on the lower back and go into a hollow back. Did you hear correctly? Now we want to have the hollow back for a change because it is beneficial for the exercise because when we go into the hollow back now, 
Then you probably notice that there is a pulling sensation in the buttocks and then we slowly move forward. You may notice, oh yes, there is a stretching sensation in the buttocks. It's likely even the case that this stretching sensation is exactly where you always feel your sciatic nerve. Then you have almost one. But if it's not, you still haven't lost, right? Everything's fine. And now you keep breathing further into the stretch. That means the belly button is important again. The belly button wants to go forward. This means that your back shouldn't round and bend forward, but your back stays straight. You want to stay in the hollow back and now practically continue to move forward in the hollow back and directly trigger the most intense stretching, right? Not too intense, but intense enough that you can still bear it well. Keep moving forward. And now we tighten against it. We'll do strength training now, if that is still possible for you. If not, leave it out. The stretching is already really good. But the icing on the cake now comes through strength training, right? A big icing on the cake. You press with your right foot using leg strength against your knee. Push back and let go again and continue into the stretch and push again and let go. Continue into the stretch and push again. Let go and continue into the stretch. And then you come out and sit down and move a little freely. For the third exercise, go on a mat or place a cushion or pillow underneath because you are now going on one knee and therefore it is important that the knee feels comfortable. We want to relax during the exercise, right? You go on all fours and for the right leg, attention, if the left leg is your problem, then do it the other way around. For the right leg, the exercise is as follows. We reach over with our hands and with our torso so far that the right knee comes below your body center. So simply go over from here and now a little forward so that you are in the middle with the knee but a little below the hip joints or the hip joint. and then carefully lift your left leg and stretch it backwards so that all the force of your weight goes onto your right thigh. And you may have already noticed that it pulls exactly into the spot where sciatica pain always makes itself noticeable. Optimize it by leaning a bit forward, a bit backward, a little further outward with the hip, perhaps a bit further inward. You will find a spot where you notice, there I have the greatest stretching sensation and that's exactly where you should stay. Stay right there. And now gravity, so to speak, pushes your thigh into the hip joint in a way that your muscles, where the sciatic nerve might be pinched, perhaps you've heard of the piriformis, the piriformis gap, and we're stretching right in there, freeing up that bottleneck. Yes, the exercise before, it has freed the entire buttocks and it is now specifically for this one muscle layer where it usually gets stuck. You breathe in nicely and simply let gravity take effect. And you'll notice the longer you stay in there, the more this feeling, this stretching sensation intensifies. If it becomes too strong, simply place your left foot down and relieve some pressure so that you have the intensity that is just comfortably bearable, something that still feels good and comfortable. You can adjust it very precisely. And here too, we're steering a bit, but only do this if it feels right for you. If not, you just stay like that. The exercise usually has a really good effect, but if you prefer, lift yourself off your thigh now as if your buttocks want to lift upward. 
and then you notice that something is tightening in the buttocks because exactly this musculature is tensing, which we want to make nicely flexible so that the sciatic nerve can perform its function there unhindered. Yes, always tense a little bit. You might see a very small movement in my thigh when I tense and release, tense and release. If you don't see it, always lift yourself up a little bit like a millimeter, that's enough, and go back down and then come out slowly. Always move slowly. And now I have one more after work sciatica exercise for you. You should do these exercises in the afternoon so they relax you. Now take a ball and simply sit on it. Yes, it may seem strange to you, but it has a very, very important function because now you roll so far until you notice, ah, now I am exactly at the spot. I have already found it in myself. Maybe you too. Now I am exactly at the spot where the stretching sensation was felt during the last exercise. And now you just roll. With very small spirals, you create a fascial release, full body massage, and thereby ensure that area is well stimulated, allowing everything to be well distributed. And, as I always say, every movie on TV, no matter how bad it may be, becomes a good movie when you sit on the ball and do something for your buttocks. Yes, that's my private special tip. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. Also activate the bell, and comments are always welcome. Thumbs up also would be great. And remember, pass on this information, share the video, and tell people that they can cope with sciatica in a simple way. Goodbye.